Hi, I'm Brooklyn. I graduated from Salem High School in May of 2018 after 12 years of very unique educational experience. Ashage is a public high school located in Blanton, Utah, a very rural area. I received a general education up to about 7th grade when I began taking the honors courses that were offered at our middle school, Albert R. Lemon Middle, and I continued to do the same through high school. My sophomore year, I began taking concurrent enrollment classes from USU Blanton campus. SJH is a very unique school because it is so close to the Na Native American Navajo Reservation. The population of San Juan High is 56% white and 44% Navajo. 99% of students qualify for, free, for the free and reduced lunch program. The majority of students and staff identify with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I was in no way a minority in high school, but the Native American students make up half that school. They are still a minority. The most unique part of this situation was that most of these students lived up to two hours away from the school. This made things very interesting. The Navajo students did not have the same access to the honors, AP, or concurrent enrollment courses that some of us white students did. This often set them on a different playing field because of their economic class. There was definitely a stereotype that the Navajo students were the troublemakers and the students that supposedly couldn't do as well in classes just because of their race. As for me, all of my teachers fully believed in my abilities and assumed that I would not be able, not only be able to accomplish the tasks that they gave me, but be able to go above and beyond. Religion was another big differentiating factor at SJH, as most of the white kids had gone to school and church together all of our lives. We also had a seminary building across the street that we got a release hour to attend seminary classes during the school day. This was the group of people that I gravitated towards and spent most of my time with. As far as cultural and social capital goes, in my term during high school I was at the top of the game. In such a small town, sports and being involved was everything. Unlike many of my peers, I, may, I lived maybe three minutes from the high school, so it wasn't a big deal for me to go to school early, stay late, or come to a meeting not held during school hours. I was involved up in a lot of extracurriculars at the school and many activities in the community. Because there was such a small percentage of students that were able to participate in these activities, I held a leadership position in just about every one. This included FBLA, FFA, drill team, volleyball, student government, Sterling Scholar, NHS, and even some more. This meant that I hung out with the kids that did many of those activities with me. It also gave me a huge advantage, advantage with the teachers and staff at the school. I could be in any hallway during any class, and teachers just assumed that I was doing something official for one of these clubs. All of this was definitely for my benefit. I was able to get a very well-rounded education and gain skills in a lot of different fields. I had the trust of everyone around me, and I was very well-liked. This allowed me to get away with a lot more than I probably should have been able to. I grew up with the ideology that we are not all the same, and that I was in fact much different than most people that I went to school with. I didn't understand many of my classmates' backgrounds or way of thinking. I thought that I was right and they were wrong. This definitely hindered my experience, and I missed out on a lot of cool experiences because of it. My ideology has changed because of my socialization. Now that I have come to SEU and have learned more about people who are different than me and have been more socialized, I realize that people are people, and even though we may act and believe differently, we have a lot more in common than we usually think. I grew up in a unique place with many unique situations. I was able to go to school with people who were different than me. I saw both a lot of great instructing and socializing and a lot of very unfair instructing and socializing. I think the best move that I can take now to pursue equity in my future classroom is to continue to edu educate myself. There's a lot I do not know or understand about a lot of current social issues, as well as different cultural beliefs and practices. Becoming educated on these important matters is the first step in being able to see into my students' lives and be able to create a personal relationship with them. The next thing I will do is consider all of my students' backgrounds when planning for our time together in class. There were so many things that I did not realize play into this. Is it so easy to assume that each child has a family, that each child has access to internet at home, or that every child celebrates their birthday? 
Unfortunately, this is not the reality and it's completely necessary to keep all these things in mind. I will apply student-centered pedagogy in my classroom. The point of school really is, really should be, to help all students realize and reach their full potential. With student-centered pedagogy in my classroom, I my classroom will really revolve around my students and making sure that they, as individuals, have what they need and are getting as much education as they can.